The truth is out there, and Vince Pybus reckons he's seen it. I've seen the light just above the bushes over there. So I saw it, I thought, wonder what this is. Then I seen another light, two. So I got the mobile phone. Problem is, I've never used it as a video, so it took me 10 minutes to work it out. By that time, there were seven of them. BBC Radio Merseyside. Stephen, not to Ash. Uh, please don't think I'm mad. Anybody else see the strange lights in the sky 20 past 10 last night in the Prescott area? Donna in West Derby saw the same lights as Steve. They were right over Naughty Ash near Older Hay around about 10 o'clock last night. She works in a shop. John in Witness was looking after his grandson late last night in Witness. Uh, around 20 past 10, his grandson woke up screaming that there were fireworks, but there was no banging. Merseyside, some claim, has long been a favourite destination for extraterrestrial tourists. Last month, declassified government files revealed a letter sent to a secret agent from a man in Wirral. I was in fact in physical and psychic contact with an ET called Algar, whom I've had a relationship with since 1958, and it continued until 1981 when he was killed by another race of beings. Today, Merseyside police said they weren't too worried. No one had called their control room about last night's sightings. Some have suggested aircraft or an unusual weather phenomenon could be the real cause, but Vince is keeping an eye out, just in case. Well, I'm a sceptic. I don't believe in UFOs anyway. But until you've actually seen one, which I did, well, I've seen seven, I thought, they're out there. Amy Cornwell, Northwest Tonight.